show on JTV with us now are downtown neighbors from the Jackson County Chamber of Commerce, Tim Booth and Amanda Loveland. Good morning. Good morning. I feel like they deserve a Shall round we? of Thank applause. So round of applause. Thank you. I gotta Thank tell you guys, everyone should start their morning with a round of applause. I think so. The Jackson Chamber is so robust mm -hmm. and such a cheerleader and actually so responsible for the good things I that agree. we talk about every Monday morning together. So a huge thank you to you and the entire chamber. What's new? Oh my goodness, things are always new for us. You've got a lot going on. Primarily, yes. Yeah, so we have our University of Michigan Ross School of Business event. That's our big Yay. kind of new exciting thing that we've never offered before. That's coming up on August 21st. I need to do that, don't I? I mean, if you, I would love to have you and your you team. You wouldn't be disappointed yes. if you did. Yeah. All right. Obviously, uh, <laughs> world famous Ross School of Yes. yes, absolutely. And typically, so what's really neat about this is the Ross School of Business is used to coming into one one boardroom with one company. Okay. So we're really working with them to accommodate a lot of companies. Nice. And they're really helping us make sure it keeps that personal touch. So we're encouraging nice. our business um, members to bring two or three team members at okay. least because Dr. Uh, Jeffrey Sanchez Burks is gonna walk up to each table after like a teaching point, he's gonna walk up to that table and say, how does that apply to you guys? What oh, problem wow. are you cool. solving? And he's gonna keep that personal touch. So um, we're really, really excited to offer this to our members at an extremely discounted price mm -hmm. in comparison to what they pay to bring them in their own boardroom. So who's your ideal um, participant that day? So ideally companies that do have a team, so we completely understand those small businesses, the boutiques in town, something like that. You can't send three people yeah. for a whole day. You yeah. just can't do it. Um, and so uh, companies that are sending teams are people like Dawn Foods, Consumers Energy, County okay. National Banks, Flag Stars. Okay. Um, the people who have, mm -hmm. you know, a, a couple people that by all means staffing is still an issue, so we get that it's yeah. a loss for a day, but you have that ability to yeah. send a team so they can bring it back yeah. um, and teach everybody in house. Tim, nice. Talk about the uh, the opportunities for businesses with this education here in town where they don't have to you know go elsewhere getting it brought in from the local chamber that's pretty cool well it is very cool and it's very efficient mm -hmm. so w when we um, have a professional development event we understand the challenges that businesses have to send people yeah okay can they be away from the desk can they be away from the shop or whatnot so we better make it power packed and we better mm -hmm. make it worthwhile for yep for a organization to send people. Yeah. And we've done exactly this with U of M. As Amanda said, this is something that um, is typically much more expensive. It's very unique. We've got a high level, like you said, um, the Raw School of Business mm -hmm. from, U, from U of M is coming to our town, yeah. and you're gonna be able to learn from some of the best in the business mm -hmm. in, this, in this way, in a very specific, specific to your particular challenges, particular to your specific improvement goals that you might have. Mm -hmm. This is what I want to do, and you're going to have face to face with such um, such wizards and experts yeah. as what uh, what we have for uh, the folks on August 21st. When do you need to uh, hear from businesses if they want? August to 18th, so the Friday okay. before. We're giving okay. some flexibility because we know some people are having to have conversations in house. Um, but I must say, in addition to U of M, our world famous Leadership Jackson that Tim runs. It's so coming up, and that's I, the big one. You know how I feel about Leadership Jackson, <laughs> don't you? Well, I, I, I'm awfully proud of uh, Leadership Jackson, um, and while although I share the enthusiasm, I'm not sure it's yet world famous. I think, it but is. it's certainly something that the chamber's proud of, and yes. another element that the chamber reaches out to help our organizations learn and grow. So our Leadership Jackson uh, Academy, it's a seven-month um, opportunity for organizations to send their talent to even improve their ability to lead and they're approved to be productive in the work, okay. workplace and in just investing. And it's a terrific opportunity. It's a terrific um, schedule of presenters over this period. And it's just, it, it pays so much dividend, mm -hmm. not only to the individual, but the organization and the community as a whole. When yeah. you talk about the, how we inspire these participants, mm -hmm. uh, not only for their growth, 
but um, to be involved in the committee and their obligation to Yeah, they get uh, really involved help. and invested in the Jackson community, and I think that's amazing. So uh, attending city council meetings and county commission meetings, participating with the nonprofit service project, mm -hmm. we're really grateful. So uh, previously, we always had these service projects, and True Community Credit Union stepped up and invested financially in that this year nice. um, so that we can make sure that we can continue that because each group gets money to spend on mm -hmm. that nonprofit. And nice. uh, so if you're a nonprofit who's looking to have a, a group work on a project for you, uh, that is an open application oh. right now. Leadership Jackson, if you actually want to participate and be one of the emerging leaders in the course, that deadline's August 9th. Uh, okay. That one's coming up. Uh, and so between that and U of M, we're really focused on improving mm -hmm. the leaders of this community right now. You guys nice. partner with uh, Lean Rocket Lab and, and other partners for Live at the Lab. Live at the When's Lab. the next Live <laughs> at the Lab? July 28th, oh, we have our out. next there. Live at the Lab. Friday. Yes, so it's Friday. Yep. Friday. Who's on? Who do we have on? Do we know who's on? Sue Shink will be there, which is okay. a big win for us. So Senator Sue Shink will be there, who you know we love to do events with, as well as a number of other people. But the famous one, that is leaving our team officially is Olivia Pajot. <gasps> oh no! She is going to uh, amazing, bigger and better things. But that will be the last day that you can oh, come wow. see I her. I just got okay. an email from she's, Olivia this morning. She's gonna well, at least she's still That's working. That's <laughs> what the heck? At least she's still. Is working. that what you did? You guys will be stoked with where she's going. I'll let her tell you, but. That come that day so you can hear Olivia on air for okay. the last time oh, for the yeah, chamber. Oh, yeah, we'll have to do that. So that's Monday morning, or Friday, Friday morning, yes. what time? 7 to 9 Seven at to Lean nine. Rocket Lab. Pop in whenever, yeah. leave when you need to, coffee and breakfast are on us. She's, yeah. she's been uh, great for you guys. Oh, my gosh, she's been awesome. Yeah. We're lucky um, to have her. I didn't think we'd be talking about Jaxpo in the summer, but we are going to talk about it because yeah. you already have a date. Yeah. Don't you? Oh, we have oh, we've had a date for <laughs> Don't quite you? a long time. Absolutely. When, when is, is it? it? October 19th. October. <laughs> I get you. <laughs> U of M's August 21st. Yeah, yeah. October 19th. So okay. um, uh, you've heard it before when one event's over, you start planning the next one. Yeah. Really, I worked with Emily immediately thereafter to lock in that date. Yeah. There's so much history with that date and success with that date. So um, we're already planning. We're, al we're already um, uh, developing what the content's going to be and to even make it bigger and better. Nice. Um, I've shared with both of you before that that's one of the great things about working at the chambers that really we're never satisfied. What yeah. can we do better for the guests? How can we make it more meaningful for those that choose to come and visit? So um, it's going it, it, to be similar to the past but even better. Yeah. Awesome. If you'd uh, like to sign up or have any of your staff or businesses sign up for any of the events you can Always call Amanda or call Tim or email, and you'll yes. get right back to them right away. JacksonChamber.org is a great resource. You can find all the information, yeah. but you can always give us a call, too. Awesome. Thank you guys uh, very much. We look thank forward you for to uh, yeah, Live at the you. Lab and more upcoming. Yeah, Hope to see you there. Thank you. From the Jackson County Chamber of Commerce, Amanda Loveland and Tim Booth. More of the morning show right after this.